Hello and welcome back to another video. So, to, so uh, I've moved the webcam just to see if like people like this bit more than having it down in the other corner. Uh, if you let me know what you think down in the comment section below. But anyway, today we'll be taking a look at the spell books add-on. Yeah, I did have to take a little bit of a break. Well, not. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I, I did take a bit of a break. I, I could have recorded a couple of videos, but then I'd have nothing but, uh, but like the like, uh, horror add ons left after that. And then I want to like space the horror add ons out a bit. So I'm thinking I like it, uploading like one, maybe two a week, depending on like how many new horror add ons get added to the marketplace uh, tomorrow. Um, but, uh, so yeah, I don't want to record, you know, get them, you know, upload the, all the whole add-ons before Halloween and then have nothing for Halloween itself. Yeah, uh, here we go. We have the guidebook. Uh, it's my inventory. Yeah, my inventory is fine. So, hello. Welcome to Spellbook Guy to the Spellbook that contains all the information you need about spell books. Learn about the different books and the crafting recipes. So we've got general information. Uh, here you can find information on how the spell books and mana work. Oh, excuse me. Mana system and spell use. Each spell requires a specific amount of mana to uh, cast, reflecting its uh, potency and uh, the uh, skill required to wield it. As you uh, navigate to your adventures, uh, careful mana management is crucial. You'll uh, need to balance the use of high cost powerful spells with uh, conserving energy for uh, prolonged engagements. You uh, regenerate mana naturally over time, but you can also use uh, mana potions to quickly replenish your mana reserves. To see your current uh, mana level, use the uh, your sneak or crouch button. Uh, spell books and spell cast. In each spell books is uh, a treasure trove of arcane knowledge containing five distinct spells, met meticulously crafted for unique scenarios and challenges. These spells offer a wide array of uh, tactical options, allowing players to adapt to various combat situations and uh, strategic needs. At Accessing the full range of spells with your spell book is made easy with the sneak, uh, sneak slash crouch and use item control at the same time. So sneak and right click. So yeah, use item, so in, is that, or interact or what? Basically, either the building you use to open chests and stuff and use and place blocks. This, uh, Intuitive mechanism lets you uh, cycle through uh, your available spells effort effortlessly, uh, providing uh, quick access to the uh, right spell for any situation. Uh, charging spells, additionally certain spells uh, can be charged by using the item for a long time. Enabling players to amplify their power and effectiveness uh, uh, spells uh, contain additional mana, assume additional mana, but unleash significantly the enhanced effects, rewarding players uh, for their patience and strategic planning. So, item infuse. So, we have the mana potion, it's crafting recipe, it's water bottle, dandelion, sunflower, and red tulip. Yeah, so just one of each of them. Uh, and if you go... Oh, I'm in creative mode. Zero. Mana. Huh. P-O-T. Mana. Mana pressure. Yeah, so yeah, you can see, you can see how that's crafted. That's fairly easy to do, like, you know, dandelions you can get anywhere. 
Tulips and sunflowers do only spawn in certain biomes, so you will, will probably need to do a bit of exploring to get those too, unless you spawn near them. I'm just gonna uh, oh, give at P man a uh, potion 64. Okay, so they only stack up to 16. I'll, have, I'll keep some on me so I uh, can show off the spells. Item info. So first we have the fire book. So we've got fireball. One to three mana launches a fiery projectile at the target, causing burning damage upon impact. Fire wall. Four mana erects a three by three barrier that scorches anything it comes into contact with. Flame geyser. Three mana summons a column of fire and the fire that surges in a straight line, increasing it, incinerating everything in its path. Inferno, three mana, creates a fiery floor around the caster, setting ablaze anything nearby. Volcano, five mana, erupts a geyser of lava from the ground, dealing massive damage to anything caught in the blast. To craft it, you need two magma cream, three blaze powder, and four books. So four books, three blaze powder, three magma cream. Uh... Uh, two, so just one of them. And where's a blaze rod? There's a blaze rod. So there's three blaze powder. Double check. Real quick. Uh, no. Yeah, two magma cream, three blaze powder. And four books. Where did my play from go? It's a bit yaggy today. I don't know why this world's already a bit yaggy. There we go. And four books. Do I have any books? Uh, I do not think so. So there's a lever there. There's one, two, three, four. Now I just need paper. Oh, looks like sugar cane or something there. there you go. Oh, sugar paper is right above sugar cane. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, excuse me. Ah. Right. It's four books. What? Uh. Yeah, <coughs> why am I sneezy? This is today. Anyway, but uh, yeah, fire book. Did I misread blaze rods as blaze powder? No, it says yeah. So I didn't misread. It did say blaze powder and not blaze rods. So I don't know if that was just like it. I mean, do we plan to be blaze powder and not blaze rods? And then they changed it later on, or what? Or they were going to change it, but I forgot to change it. But it's wrong, and that's uh, not good, obviously. So I have the book here. I do have the uh, my super OP astral suit. So I'm just so I don't really need to worry about taking damage. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to some vin. All right. On Vin Vindicator. So if I right click, oh well, that missed entirely. So I think you're gonna need to like aim it more towards their feet. Oh wow, that just one shot him. Uh, 
and you can hold and you can charge it up. And it doesn't destroy anything, which is nice. Um, some wild warden. Yeah, big guy. Okay, it's not as impressive when you're doing it on the warden. Because he has a ton of health. Get away, you're annoying me now. Um, so, right, so it was shift. So it was shift right click? Yeah, shift right click so you can... Uh, so you can change it. So that's Fireball. Let's do Firewall. So let's get Vinny in here. Firewall. Oh. Ah, there we go. So you're gonna come here, Vinny. 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 Come on. There we go. Okay, so it's not the best because it seems a bit random where it puts the firewall. I think that's. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how this is supposed to work. So, yeah. That time it placed where I wanted it to place. Ah, so it goes down after a bit and then it eventually goes into the ground and it stops. Ah, okay. I don't know why it doesn't always place where it's supposed to place. That was a little bit disappointing. No, it doesn't work quite right. Okay, that time it worked correctly. Maybe because over there, uh, there's uh, like an area beneath it. Because it, I like it, this is like a bit. So let me show you game. Game mode spectator. Uh, under here, like I did, I find that's like an entire area. So there are like uh, whole of these uh, areas underneath. So I think this is. Uh, what made it not work properly earlier on, which is a which could be a problem uh, in survival. Anyway, on to the next one. Next up is the flame geyser. Oh, a bunch of phantoms. Yeah, that's a bit. Okay, that should be a disappoint. Not nearly as close as I thought it was going to be. Let's summon Vinny in here. Oh. Yeah, that's just a bit disappointing. So it doesn't really work if like you spawn on top of them, so you have to like Give it a fair bit of room before it all. There you go. Oh, that one didn't even summon any fire. That time. Anyway, next up is the Inferno. Uh, let me just shoot this. There we go. Summon Vindicator. I didn't do anything. There we go. Oh, that's just a... I mean, it's AOE, so it would affect a bunch of... Uh, mobs at one time, but... 
It's just not that great, really. And also, Vinny's now immune to it for some reason. Uh, yeah, it's not that. Why has it stopped doing damage to Vinny? I think uh, this will might be a bit. Because this world's a bit buggy. So I'm just gonna hop into. The, my other world and see if it is the, uh, this world being a bit buggy or if it's the add-on that's just not working for whatever reason. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, I'm back and that, uh, uh, I got the fire book. Uh, so this is the second one that I usually do testing with to make sh you know, because to make sure it's the other main buggy. So let's summon uh, Vinny back in. So actually, I could just do yeah. There you go. Okay, yeah, he's standing. He stood right on it, and it didn't do anything. Uh, is it because I'm flying? No. Oh, I also want to get some mana. No, even the mushrooms aren't affected. Oh, there we go. It Wait, so yeah, this is a bit... Okay, that's disappointing. But at least it gives you fire resistance, but it, it doesn't always work. So yeah, some of these spells are a bit buggy and they don't always work, which again is disappointing. So yeah, let's uh, show off Volcano. Okay, that's cool. I would just stick with Fireball. Fireball worked perfectly fine and it was quite strong. Being able to one-shot Vinny. Yeah, that, that is cool though. But yeah, Fireballs uh, seems to be more than enough. Uh, you will have to like uh, aim it at their feet because, like like we saw earlier, it it can just go through them um, if you just a if you aim it at their body. Oh, okay. Sometimes it can go through them. Sometimes you can just aim at their body. So at least you know, always have to aim at their feet. But yeah, uh, just some like basic, some pre, some cool looking spells, but nothing like. Super amazing. So next up is the water book. So you got tidal wave conjures a wave up. I'm not. So you got. I'm not going to go over the spells because we'll see them in a minute anyway. Crafting recipe: three prismarine shards, two water buckets, and a book, and four books. Water. So let's get Vinny back in here. So, oh, oh, that's a bit disappointing. Oh, firstly, it's ice blocks and not water blocks, and secondly. It doesn't go up blocks, so you you'd have to like use it from higher ground. And I don't think that even did damage, it just pushed him away. Yeah, it doesn't do damage, it just pushes them. That's uh not very good, in my opinion. Ice double. Oh! 
That's cool. So you use it and it teleports you away and creates a snow golem uh, to distract them. This is... Uh, I'm in the ground. It's, a li it's not... Uh, it, it does have its issues, but it is still... That's actually cool. Like, it's very much like a very, like... Uh, something you'd see in, like, Naruto. Like, sh you know, Shadow Clone Juice, and it's like you disappear, and, you know, stuff like that. But it doesn't seem to do damage to them. Which, yeah, could I guess because it was a water golem. Water jet. Um... Oh, this one does damage. I think. It seems to do damage at least. Not a lot of damage by the looks of it though. Yeah, it does do damage. It also pushes them away, so it's it's basically the tidal wave but better. Next up we have the ice lance. Let's test it on the mushroom. Oh, oh this destroys blocks. Uh, how many blocks did they get? Five. Okay, so it seems to give you all the blocks it destroys at least. Oh, can this be used to just mine? Oh. Okay, guess. No. Yeah. Uh, but if I wait. okay, so you could use it to break blocks. It has to land on top of the blocks for them to break it. Because if it lands on the side, it just bounces off and then destroys something else. It's not very effective at mining blocks either. So let's have in the and see how much damage it does. See if it can one shot Vinny. Yeah, oh wow, it made a bigger explosion that time. So I guess if it kills something then it makes a bigger explosion. Uh also, how did it kill Vinny but not him? There you go. Yeah, that time it killed him. And yeah, it definitely made a big explosion that time. So, come on, time. So, let's do. So, yeah, I, uh, I don't mean, really, like, it's decent, but it does blow stuff up, so I destroy the terrain, so I don't really, I don't really like it when uh, stuff does that. Uh, Water's Embrace. Yeah, damn it, really. Ah, it makes a giant whale pull around you. Get back here, Vin. Here we go. It launches them up. So you can use it to protect yourself if you're, like, getting that swarm to buy a bunch of... Enderman or something, you use this and it keeps it and it'll keep them away and you can just like uh, chuck a mana potion or chomp on some food to, or drink a regen potion or whatever you need to do. Yeah, it's got a couple of decent spells but I'm a bit underwhelmed by the water book. Air book. Uh, so it's three feathers and two breeze wards. So the first one strikes them with lightning. Can you, you every time something like this adds a lightning strike? I have to test. Can you charge creepers with it? So strong creep. Oh, it would help if I finish. 
three deeper. Yeah, you can charge creepers, which means uh, you. Oh, wait, do they? That's not a village. Oh, yeah, so you say you can turn villagers into witches. And you can turn mushrooms into uh, brown mushrooms and vice versa. You might want to have some water nearby so they don't burn for too long. But it doesn't do a ton of damage. It took a couple to kill Vinny. And Vinny has 20 HP. But uh, something that uh, is good about it is that it does go through armor, I believe. So, if, and it also, and fire damage also goes through armor, unless they've got fire protect. Wait, no, no, fire doesn't, yeah. No, it's, sorry, my mistake. Fire doesn't go through armor. Don't know why I thought it did for me then. Anyway, uh, next spell. So, that was Zephyr Jump. I thought that would be, anyway, Cyclone. Get back here, you. Oh, well, yeah. So, you trap them in a Cyclone and you can hit them. That's pretty cool. Uh, can you do it with multiple mobs? So if I just summon a few vinnies in here. Oh yeah, it works for multiple of them. So then you can just start hitting away. And it also does damage to them. Yeah, actually that's a pretty good one. I, li I quite like that spell. So Cyclone's pretty cool. Wind Tunnel. Let's see what uh, this does. It launches them in the air and then uh, drops them on the ground. Yeah, it does a bit of damage, but um, yeah. It's not super great. Let's still go with the Cyclone. Air defense. So let's summon Vindicator. Pushes them away. Kind of mid. Lightning strike. Oh, I know. Wait, if that's lightning strike, then that's Zephyr jump. What's Je Zephyr jump then? Jump. Ah. Oh, that's cool. Okay, this is Def. This is so far. This is my favourite book. This would be really powerful if you have a light where you just go all the way up and then you just activate your light and just glide for eternity. And um, I don't know when this change will be implemented, but Mojang messed about with changing how elytras work so that uh, with the durability so that they don't lose durability when gliding or using a riptide trident, but they do lose durability if you use rockets. So if you uh, get in that when that update comes around that'll be really good because you just go uh zephyr jump you fly up with your light on and then when you get as high as you want you have you know you start gliding with your light and you'll probably and it's also probably like the quickest way to just ascend so yeah that's pretty cool next up is earth book which is crafted with uh, three iron two mud and four books so let's get if it looks like the guidebook with a bit of mud on it i mean all of them are basically like we call the guidebooks oh I forgot to summon in Vinny. Hey, wait, wait. Oh, that's cool. That was just a single right click. So this is... This is pretty cool. We got another good spell here. Go on cool down. There we go.
Come on, stop being on cooldown. There we go. Oh, that one didn't manage to heal. And kaboom. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. I like I like this this spell. So that was uh was that stone fist? Yeah, that's stone fist. In tomb. So let me drink a mana potion to regen my mana. And summon Vinny in. Hi Vinny, I got another spell to test on you. Okay, so this just puts him in case of summon blocks and then blows up. <laughs> it launched him like a million blocks in the air. So yeah, it does it to, to all nearby uh, entities. Or mobs. Oh, oh the spider probably got something in like a previous video or something. Yeah, pretty cool. I like it. Uh, next up is Stone Body. So let's summon in Vinny. I use it. Ah! It gives me jump boost for some reason and regen. Oh. Weird. This is mostly just like a uh, tell. Uh, mostly just like recovery thing. Oh. No, I don't look any different. So you'd use this if you're like in a bit of a tough battle and you just need to regen some health, I guess. I don't know why it gives you jump boost. Like, if you've made... It's called stone body, so I assume like it's supposed to be like your body's made out of stone. But then I would like slow you down. So that tight drop. Uh, where'd the video go? There he is. Yeah, back here, you. Whoa! Okay, that was a bit delayed. It's cute. Uh, it does do t damage to terrain, so like I said, I don't really like ones that do damage to terrain as much, but it's, it was co it's a cool idea. Earthquake. No, no, not that. Vinny. And yeah, go shake the earth. Well, that was underwhelming. Just sure shake the camera a bit and made some particles. I even kill Vinny. Yeah, no, I would just go with the, uh... Like, if you have an offense, just go with Stone Fist, and then maybe, or in Tomb. In Tomb, uh, it was a good one. Uh, and Stone Body to regen your health. Item info. Necro Book. This is going to be cool. So it requires three bones, two rotten flesh, and four books. So this is the easiest one to craft out of all of them, probably. Necro... Nom, nom, Necro book. So let's get Vinny in here. So the first one is Skeleton Army. Oh, you got little skelly such you guys. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> now they're fighting each other because they're idiots. Uh, now they're gone. Oh, they actually managed to kill Vinny. Okay, I really, I really like this one. Straight off the bat, that was cool. So, only a single one. So, you don't get as many skeletons. But this one... So, uh, I got lucky with this one. I got an enchanted bow. So they can get arm and they can also get enchanted uh, bows. And after a little bit they disappear. That's cool. I really like that. That is really cool. Uh, and I assume you can pick these up. Yeah, because they're basically just like ten small, small skeletons. And then you've got Undead Horde. 
It's zombies instead of skeletons. Oh, giant! They're giant zombies. Oh, that's cool. Okay, this is definitely my favourite one so far because I always like um, I kind of like summoner kind of style thing. So this is basically like undead summoner. Necromancer, so yeah, it's cool. Uh, so we've got oh, Corpse Explosion. You don't have any mini. Oh! So it's like a combo spell. So if I do Undead Horde, then Corpse Explosion. Oh, so. Gives them a big head and they do a massive explosion. That's cool. Now we've got Death Ward. Now I've got to summon in Vinny. Here we go. Not enough mana. Right, Vinny, come here. This is going to use up an entire mana bar. Okay, let's read the book, because I have no idea what it's supposed to do. Necro book. Death Ward. Grants a target protection from death. Totem of... Oh! It just straight up give you a to gives you a totem of undying. I didn't even notice it in my offhand, because I've got like free, a 3D item texture by getting kind of books out of the offhand. And then Death Coil. Oh! Yeah, it's a big explosion. Like I said, I don't really like it once I do explosions, but that that was uh, cool. So yeah, I also also like hold on. So if I just get a few Vinnies in here. Now all of the Vinny's gonna try and attack it. So ah, so they only try. Oh, okay. So they only try and attack it if it they get hit by it. But if they if they do get hit by it, they will like try to attack it, and then that guarantees it. But they, they don't need to like. There is like a pretty big AOE. Uh, hold on. Does it hit you? Game mode zero. It doesn't use up a lot of mana either. Okay, yeah, so it does hit you as well. So you do have to be careful of that. So yeah. Oh, wrong one. Next up is the uh oh, oh wow, it's still got a fair few. So uh, is, next up is the arcane book. It's uh, three Ender Pills, two Amethyst Shards, and four books. Uh, <laughs> Keen. Summon in Vinny. So first up is Arcane Bolt. It launches him up. And drops them down. Okay. Well, I need a drink. There we go. Right. Next up is Blink. I don't think this is offensive. I think it's basically just like a teleport. Ah. And it didn't even work properly. I think you need to aim up a bit for it to work. Yeah, so you aim up a little bit and it basically just like blinks you over. Yeah, this is pretty lame because it doesn't take you very far. Uh, so, yeah. Blink is a bit lame. Polymorph. 
uh, hold on. So this is usually like a transformation spell. You don't have any mobs in the area. Oh, so it turns hostile mobs into passive mobs. Is there a time limit on it? A cane book uh, transforms a target into a passive mob, mob temporarily. Yeah, so it is temporary. So you could just kill them as a passive mob. Oh, I want to get a bunch of it. Yeah, I'm going to get a bunch of Vinny's in here and the polymorph a bunch of them. Is it to see if it's always going to be a chicken or if it's random? Because if it's random, then you probably could probably get. Uh, yeah, they all changed into chickens. Yeah, it's always a chicken. Next up is Arcane Explosion. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so there's a bit of a pause, but it made a big boom. And it didn't damage any blocks, which is nice. Do without the pause. And next up is Arcane Ward. Oh. Don't know what that did. Oh, right, get back here, you. Actually, I can just do that. You didn't do anything. It's not doing anything to him. Okay, let's read the book, see what that's about. Item info, a key book. Summons a magical seal that imprisons the target. It doesn't... Oh, there you go, it hit him. So... Yeah, if it hits them, then they'll, like, try and attack it. Yeah, that's not a very good one. Uh, time set. Day. Oh, game. Oh, daylight side for false. So, yeah, you know, so, the arcane book was a bit of a letdown. Next up is the Druid book. Ooh, Druid. 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 Yep, I made a tree. Didn't mean to make a tree. Anyway, first up is Wolf. So, let's charge this up. And it summons some wolves to attack for me. That's cool. Why is the baby one bigger than the adult one? Yeah, and now they're gone. Let's do that one more time. No, 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 not that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Next up is Shapeshift Rabbit. Is it me shapeshifting or is it him shapeshifting? Oh, it's me. I turned into a bunny. So, hold on. If I'm in survival, will you target me as a bunny? Game mode zero. Yeah, he still targets you. Well, you have resistance and you jump. You have jump. And invisibility, yeah, there's no animation for it. You just like kind of glide around, so it's not 
the best effect, but ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. Yeah, you can just get off. Uh, shape shift bat. Does this allow you to fly in survival? Nope. You just look like a bat and you have slow fall. Oh, wait. Yeah, if you press and hold that space bar, you can fly. Sometimes. It's a bit uh, unreliable. Well, I, why did it not put me into creative? Weird. Yeah, I did not mean to do that. And there's entangling vines. Which makes it a patch of grass that does not just them. Doesn't do a ton of damage. Uh, next up is Sacred Seed. Yes, yeah, so that's all I did here. Yeah. It just does AOE damage. Okay, that one's a day a bit lame. Next up is the light book. Second to last book. Light book. So the first one is a light orb. Oh, it's in the ground. And if I do time set mid. Oh, it's gone. So it's only temporary. But yeah, it does light up in the area. But I, I, like I said before, I don't really get the point of like temporary lighting. I was in a spell, I was drinking a mana potion, weird. Anyway, Sword of Light. <laughs> yep, there we go. So yeah, if there's a mob in near you, a sword will come down and stab him. Uh, vindicator, Vindicator. Vindicator. I only got him, maybe because they were too far spread out. Yeah, it's uh, pretty cool, I guess. Luminous Arrow. There you go. It bonks him. So. Doesn't do a lot of damage. How is he not dead yet? I basically used up my entire mana bar and he's still not dead. Is this even doing any damage to him? Light book. Luminous arrow. Shoots a blinding arrow of light at the target. It... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Yeah, it's not doing do any damage. 
So it doesn't do damage, and does it even create a light source? It doesn't even create a light source. What is the point? Solar burst. I probably should have summoned Vinian. Summon Vindicator. And it just pushes them away. Celestial Wave. Oh, come on, how did that not kill you? Come on, how did two of them not kill you? Yeah, some of these books are quite good, like the Necromancer book. That was really good, but some of these just seem really underpowered. Also, I forgot... Did I forget to check what items you need to craft the light book? It's sunflower... Yeah, three sunflowers and two glass. Uh, solar base, celestial wave. Yeah, that's lame. Lame. Last book, and it's a dark book. What's that? What was it called? Oh, Shadow Book. Uh, uses Echo, three Echo Shards, two Skull Cranes. It's better be good. Using Echo Shards and Skull Cranes. Like, come on. Alright, Vinny, let's see what the Shroud of Shadows does. Gives you invisibility. So if you're in survival and you're invisible, they're not gonna. Oh, wait, yeah, they can still. See? Yeah, they still attack you from a bear bat. Yeah. It's uh, invisibility. Yeah, they're so strong. Uh, invisibility isn't a good potion effect in the Minecraft. It's basically pointless. Darkness. Oi! Stop it. That did nothing. Um, blindness on any... Why? Why blindness? Out of everything they could have done. Blindness, the most useless effect on the, on the hostile mobs. Shadow shot. Okay, just does some explosions. I mean, free shot him, and I almost used on my entire mana bar, but it does uh, target multiple entities, so uh, it's not the worst in this book. Ebon Tendrils. Tend summons tendrils that do damage. And it also stops them from moving. Yeah, at least it two shot him. It was better than the last spell. And dash attack. How the hell is that a dash attack? That's, and that, that's just something in a wither skeleton. Like, I guess it can teleport. 
If I summon a bunch of indicators. Yeah, you can teleport them. I imagine that the dash attack would make me, you know, dash towards them and do damage to them. They only teleport into the ground. Yeah, so yeah. Final thoughts. There are some cool, really cool spells, spell books in here that I really like. But there are others I just like, can't, pretty much pointless. Like, why would you craft a, the Shadow Mancer book? Well, mainly because it, one, it's so expensive, but two, it just barely uh, does anything. And there's books that are much cheaper and better. Like the Necromancer book, like the Necromancer book, the Fire and the Fire book, and the Earth book. Those those three books are pretty much the only books you should really consider crafting because they're the only really decent ones. Like also, also the Air book, like uh, that's that was decent as well. Right, but I can't really see why you'd want to craft the the, the water or the net or the uh, arcane or the druidic or the light book or the shadow book i just craft uh so just like craft fire air earth or necro depending on which one uh, you like the most i just stick with that because they're honestly the you know the best out of them out of all these books so yeah hope you guys all did enjoy this video I hope to see you guys in the next video, and bye-bye. Uh,